two slips of paper. I want you to focus on the one that's the bigger slip of paper. That's, gonna, that's what's going to cost you to go to my university. Students pick, every year, students pay so much to go to a university and receive an education. According to top universities in 2015, it is an average of $18,000 to go to a public school in the United States and an average of $42,000 to go to a private school in the United States. Every year, students strive to get, learn, learn and receive an education. The importance of a college GPA and a college education is more stressed and prevalent in our de generation than it has ever been in any generation. Today when you leave, I want you to think about how it is absolutely ridiculous that college tuition has been raised over the past decade and how students work so hard in school and, ends up in low, and end up in loads of debt when they're about to start their life. I believe that students should be rewarded if they get a 3.0 GPA or higher. <coughs> this reward can just be a portion of their tuition given back to them. So if your sl first slip of paper had $55,000 on it, you get 20% of that back, which is $11,000. This could help so much in the long run, and it could help alleviate so much stress. Even though it's a small increment of money, it could help a lot. As we know, college tuition has raised so much throughout the years, and a portion of our tuition given back to us could help us so much. According to College Board in 2015, when I was born in 1995, college tuition was only $8,000 to go to a public school and $26,000 to go to a private school. Now, as I said before, it is $18,000 to go to a public school and $42,000 to go to a private school. Now, we understand that education has changed throughout the years. There's more, there's, there are more different ways to learn how to study and more creations and inventions have been made for students. But does that mean that we should, be the bur we should have the burden to pay more tuition now? According to college, uh, according to US News in 2013, the percent change from 2003 to 2013 in college tuition was 79.5%, and it is still growing today. Now, I would have rather went to school in 2003 and received an education if I knew that college tuition was gonna rise 79.5% today. Now, let's just look at our university, St. Louis University. Today, in 2015-2016 school year, it is an average of $39,000 to go to SLU. We're right there with the average cost of going to a private school of $42,000. Now I want you to look at your piece of paper, the bigger one. Now that bigger one is how much it'll cost you to go to school for one year. But now multiply that by four. For a four-year college education, you're looking at, you're looking at around probably $200,000 with interest of going to a four-year college. And, I, and in the past, it'll only be half of that cost. I know I'd rather go to a college with half of that cost. Now, students won't rely on their parents as much as they do than they did in the past. Because college tuition has increased, parents ask students to take loans out. According to George Mason University in 2013, over the past decade, a student loan debt has increased by 281%. Student loan debt it started out at about $260 billion the first quarter of 2004 to $990 billion in the first quarter of 2003. <coughs> it has nearly tripled over nearly a decade. This is, not only a, this is not only a burden on us, but a burden on our government and loan companies. How do they know that we're going to be paying all that, all, that, all that money back to them? According to Discover Student Loans, which is a loan company that gives student loans, um, they do a similar process of giving students a uh, portion of their tuition back if they get a 3.0 GPA or higher. According to Discover in 2015, if you borrow money from Discover you can get a, and get at least a 3.0 GPA, you're eligible to qualify for a cash reward. Now if a loan company can do this, why can a university do this? A loan company is giving out money, but a university is asking for your money and you can and if they, were to, if they were the ones giving you a, a portion of your tuition back, that portion can go straight back to your loan company, which should alleviate a lot more stress in the future. Now, not only has loan increased, but so has our GPA. And this is something that we should be proud of. According to US Today in 2013, the average GPA at a four-year college and university has risen from 2.52 in the 1950s <coughs> to 3.11 in 2006, and it's still growing today. Now that's one thing that I am proud of and I think that's something that we should be rewarded for. Not only do we have to go to school and receive good grades and maintain our GPA, but we have to build a resume, something that people in the past generations did not have to do as much. We do internships, we volunteer, we work, we are part of different extracurriculars on campus. One time when I was talking to my mom, my mom even said she only had two things to worry about. 
to study hard and to get good grades. Now, and in order to get that and get in good and in order to get good grades to get a job. Now what we have to do is double that. We have to build a resume and make sure these companies will hire us in the future. And that's something that I think that we should be rewarded for because we still maintain that 3.0 GPA. Now I want you to look at your second slip of paper. That slip of paper is going to determine how much you're going to get back from your initial slip of paper. That's 20% of what your initial slip of paper is. Now, for some of you, that might be a smaller increment because your, your initial cost of tuition was smaller, but for some of you, it's a larger amount. But with that, so with that small increment given back to you, it alleviates so much stress for now, for not right now, and in the future. So what have we learned today? We've learned that, set, that college tuition has increased by 79.5%. We also learned that the student loan debt has increased as well. But what else have we learned? That our, our workload has increased. And with all of this in mind, our GPA has increased as well. We still maintain that 3.0 GPA and we are still motivated to do extracurriculars, volunteer, do internships, and get a job. Students should be motivated and rewarded to stay in school and giving a portion of our tuition back would greatly help us strive for the better and ease our loan problems in the future. Now, doesn't that sound like a good idea? I mean, that's like 3,600. I don't have to worry about. 